Hey, what's up, guys? Reggie's here again. <laughs> and uh, just had a bit of work to come and look at after seeing that old chimney at, um, in Preston. Currently in a place called Kirkham and Wesham. And point of interest today is we have a a train line over there we also have here a very famous biscuit factory so look at that guys uh, we have Fox's biscuits there and you can tell by the age of the um, silos there look at the size of the silos you see that So there we have the silo. Sorry? Sorry? Can I ask what you're doing? Oh, you can ask, mate. Can you not do that? Do what? Take a recording. Pardon? Can you not do that? Why, bud? Because you've just recorded me and I don't want to be recorded there. No, I'm recording the biscuit factory, mate. Can I ask why? I can't tell you, buddy, really. Well, there must be a reason. Does there have to be? Well, for you to come round and start recording things. Well, it's a public street though, isn't it? Right, but do you have permission to do what you're doing? Do I need permission? Well, I think you should ask. Who should I ask? Well, you should, should uh, contact Foxy Biscuits itself. Right, it's alright, I won't be here long, bud. Just want to get a few shots of that, um, them big silos there. They're quite old, them, eh? So how long have you worked here? Long enough. Yeah, good job. And my job's perfectly fine. Ah, brilliant. That's what you like to hear. If you're taking the silos, why are you taking to do everything else? Why what, sorry? Why are you doing everything else? What? You just said, oh, pictures of the silos, but now you're still trying to film everything else. Well, I won't mind getting a nice, decent shot of this uh, wave bridge in there because it looks quite. Um... Well, quite honestly, no. No. You have no rights to do that. Well, hell, mate, don't be like that. Well, no one's asked. It. I'm afraid no one's given you permission to do that. That's on on property, so you're not entitled to take a picture of that. Am I not? No. Oh, you're just being funny, mate, aren't you? No, I'm not actually. I'm not being funny. I won't be here long anyway, just a few shots now, oh, but no, you're all right. Is that alright, mate? No. No? No. <laughs> Come on, mate. No. I'll be like that. Well, no. We're on a public street, mate. Well, yeah, but that might be a public street, but you're actually wanting to do pop things on a private property, which, no. No, no, I don't want to go in. I'm not saying you are going in. Can I go in? No, you can't go well, in. Please, mate. Uh, no. Just a little no. tour or anything? No, you're all right, mate, no. Don't be like that, man. No, and if you want, you can still continue filming me while I'm telling you no. That's not that's not nice, mate. Don't make a difference. You're not coming in the, the, inside the property. I just want to have a tour. Well, tough. Well, can I just look from the outside, then? No, you no. can go away. <laughs> that's not... <laughs> don't be like that, man. Wait, this is a zebra crossing, this bit, isn't it? Yeah? Yeah, so I just... Uh, I want to get a low shot of this... Um, Thinking while you're not busy, this uh, this uh, wave bridge here. Does this fit Arctic wagons and rigids on it or not? So is there anywhere for me to sign in? I'm afraid you're not going in. 
Please, bud. No. I've never been in foxes before. I've not been in foxes before. Sorry. Please, mate. No. All right, then. No worries. I won't bother you anymore, mate. You have a good day. All right, bud. Actually, what's in that IVC over there, mate? None of your business. What does this do here? All right, no worries. Someone smokes a bit, don't they? Look at that there. Uh, can you can you move away from me? No, I just please. want to get a picture. I don't care. Can you move away? You're starting to annoy me now. Can you move away, please? I don't be like that, mate. Anyway, you take care. All right, bud. See you, mate. Yeah, so, uh, there's Fox's Biscuits. And I wouldn't mind getting a few shots of the old train station while we're here. Hey, look at that there. That's a fire hazard in itself, isn't it, there? Yeah, so uh, let's head over to the train station so we can see out there. Ciao. So, yeah, just a bit of a follow on from um, leaving Fox's Biscuits there. We're in, nipping into Kirkham Town Centre. It's just one high street, a couple of offshoots on streets, and um, yeah, it's there's not much going on there, to be fair. It's a nice enough place, though. We have an Ivy's jacket as we're walking here. So, uh, Hello. Hey, look, can I just get a picture of your, oh, your bag? You? Sorry? Your bag. Oh, why? I just say, uh, I seen the census bit, it's 2021. All oh, right. Quite interesting. <laughs> well, How are you? Vaguely interesting. Yeah. I just, I worry if somebody's like trying to take photographs of me. No, uh, he said. I've got too much abuse. But... Oh, do you get abuse? Well, some have, yeah. Do you? All right. What it might be down to, um, some people might have uh, mixed messaging, or they might not know truth, they might not know facts. I've, could I ask you for a description of or, or what your job is so people I might be able to share with people what do you mean? well I'm a, I'm like a vlogger a vlogger on YouTube so uh, like I say it's wrong some people get abuse yeah, yeah. so like I say I might be there's, able there's a lot of people I mean we are here in a non threatening way yeah. to been able to do it online because initially we wanted the majority to be done online. Yeah. We can issue paid questionnaires, we can sign those people to help, um, we can do as much as possible but then we do and we'll try to explain the benefits of the census to those people that, yeah. um, that don't. Because there is a bit of a mistrust of government agencies, it isn't linked, it is obviously it's civil service but they don't give any data it is all anonymized um, yeah. they don't ask for any financial data or anything like that it is purely to help um, understand how the population is going how they can um, how they can direct finances to local areas schooling you know where they've got kids so they know in 10 years time there may be a, a boom of kids uh, hospitals, health services, social services, yeah. ages of population. That is what it is. But I think they 
have mud muddied the waters because as well as the census questionnaire on the 21st of March, they seem to have sent out a census survey and um, uh, a study. They've offered incentives, financial incentives for those yeah. and people I think are thinking they've done those and they've done the census. I've just had one now and he was adamant he's done it. Now we can see proof. There have been mistakes as well, you know, yeah. some people are adamant they've done it and I don't doubt them. Um, paper questionnaires take a lot longer to come off the system. Yeah. But for this one in particular, he said, no, I've done it, I've done it. And I said, well, would you mind showing me your email confirmation? something to show you've done it yeah. and he said yeah I've got a letter so when he said a letter I thought mm, they haven't sent a letter so I tried to explain to him that that is was a survey, survey. not the census he's like oh, well I'm not doing any more and I don't you know I, Consent, I, I, yeah plus I think there are some scams always going around so yeah. you know I do like always show the ID we've been yeah. told show ID and we're not asking for any we don't want to see their information we yeah. just want to include yeah, I think, um, and I've spoke to quite a lot of people in regards to it. It's not a topic that I'd usually speak about, to be fair, but um, I think, because it's Office, is it Office of National Statistics that is carrying this out? Um, I've heard a couple, like I say, this is not my stance, but I've heard a couple of arguments in respect, like, especially when you went COVID set off. So they was taking polling from people who didn't make up the full... Um, country type of thing but you know like we had a referendum on brexit didn't we and we can debate whether or not that went right or wrong or whatever but um it's like they did have a mistrust and and a lot of people are questioning the thousand pound fine do you know what i mean question that in what way like it's as if that like, they feel pressured into doing it like yeah. and, well, in regards to, to the fine type yeah, of thing personally i think you have to pressure people to do it because people would just it in the bin they've got to see a reason but i mean i would argue they've not really um advertised the benefits of doing it enough it only comes around once every 10 years yeah. and you know who the hell even remembers what it's yeah. about or what it's for so really i think they could have spent more on that and also if they're given incentives for the survey to me if they'd have given everybody a fiver to do it i reckon a lot more people yeah. would have done it. or timed it a bit because it's the timing as well what we're going through at the minute See, a, like you say, going back to the distrust yeah. in government, it's like, I don't know, is the timing relevant now? Because I've, I've not... Uh, well, Scotland have put theirs, they have delayed theirs a little while. Have they? You could argue, you could, because it's only 10 years, could you put it off for another 12 months? I don't know, I suppose they want to keep that every 10 years, yeah. don't they? But the statistics, it's like everything, statistics can be... They can, yeah. So. Yeah. So anyway. Yeah, well it's, anyway, it's, it's a lovely day yeah, and um, like I said. Uh, so the ones really that they find, I think, are the real diehards. The ones that you know, tell me where to stuff it, where to go. Right. I've not had many of them. Have you so, not? <laughs> well, some have. <laughs> right. So, yeah. No problems. Well, um, my name's Reggie. Nice to have talked to you and uh, I hope you have a nice day. Um, you could see it on YouTube. On YouTube. Yeah, um, Reggie Photo. So yeah. <laughs> what do, What do you blog about? All different things. Um, Local. The yellow jackets are very uh, popular. Popular scene at the minute. It's not very. <laughs> if you could, if you could dish the jacket, you probably, you probably. <laughs> but he's, he's got a bit of pink or purple, and it that helps a bit. But he's. Uh, it does help that we're census, I suppose. But yeah. you know. What can I say? I'm glad I've spoke to you. You're really nice. Can, and, uh, only, most of us are really nice. We've only they've taken on an army of field staff for literally eight weeks yeah. to do this. We don't normally work for the yeah. office, so it's quite an eye opener. Yeah, no, it's uh, like I say, it's a bit different to the COVID marshals. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, I can, I can understand though why when somebody gets behind this, you get a bit power crazy. I'm yeah. Like, yeah. No, we're not here to do that. No, I know. <laughs> what what they will do, I think, after we're finished, we have an escalation team. So I think they're probably the pros. They're the ones that then go around trying to. A bit like the BBC TV license. Yeah, they'll be trying to mop up the diehards, and then after that, they will decide who the issue where they find. Right. Okay. Yeah. No worries. Well, uh, you have a nice day and.
Yeah. I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. Worst things to do, isn't well, it's it? lovely, isn't it? Now it's turned out nice. It's the oh no! <laughs> Take care, love. See ya. That lovely lady there. We all have our different thoughts about the census. I have mine, I'm sure you have yours. And um Yep. <laughs> anyway, there's still a little bit of a walk ahead from um Kirkham. Probably another five minutes from here, so as soon as I get there guys I'll switch us back on. Ciao. Now look at this for a classic bike here. Wow. Hey bud. What type of bike's that? What type of bike is it? Welcome one. <laughs> is it? Oh, that's amazing. Is that a Gorelli? Yeah. So what, what air company make them? Is it? So is it one that you would have to pedal to get set off on? No, no, it's a kickstart. How the kickstart like? Into a lost its spark. Right. And it's 40 years old. So 40 years old, wow. Sounded like it wanted to go then, didn't it? Yeah, uh, a clean carb out of something and give it a, a bit spark plug. Is well, it the spark has gone? I think. Is it new spark plug or not? Is it an old one? Well, it was bit parts. Yeah, no worries. All right, mate. E eBay and subside. Yeah, it? it's a rare bike, isn't it? Like I say, what, 40 years old. Yeah. Wow. But it's uh, the first time out for that And what's the mileage on it? Oh. 4,900 and that. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant, that, mate. Brilliant. You have a good day. Take care, mate. Yeah, yeah, never seen one of them bikes before. Gorelli. Village Barbers. And here comes the village idiot. Before anybody says it first. And there we have a Ducati, look at that. Is it as of from Monday now? All these shops are going to be opening. Oh, we've seen some sights about, aren't we? We're not getting to barbers, like, blimey. Yeah, so here we have it. We're at the junction now, at the bottom of Kirkham. Citizens' advice. Now, I do remember coming through here once. They, I think they have a street party in Kirkham once a year. Looks very bloomy, isn't it? Look, Kirkham in bloom. Winners in the Northwest in bloom, 1992 to 2004. 96 and 2003. Yeah, so. 
look at that there the metal work Queen's Diamond Jubilee 2012 so yeah it's uh, pretty nice isn't it